Hello everyone. Let me share something I have learned. It is not so much about you being right. It is about making peace. For instance, Let's say you are dealing with an unreasonable, prideful, or whatever else like that type of person. And let's say you know that person is so wrong. Let's say that. And Let's say you are giving that person Bible scriptures proving that person is wrong. Yet that person isn't backing down. That person is pretty much telling you they are right. Even though maybe they kind of know they are wrong, but because of their pride or whatever else is, I guess, pushing them to say they are right. So what should you do? Some people may continue to argue and Possibly, you know, maybe the argument will begin to escalate and become worse. The thing I have learned, and it was something I already knew, but I guess sometimes when you are in a situation, you kind of forget or maybe you don't forget but sometimes you may <laughs> make the same errors but the thing i have learned if someone is not willing to admit admit their guilt whether they are conscious, conscious of it or unconscious of it, to be quiet, let it go. Even if you have to be seen as the wrongdoer, be seen as that way, even though it is not true, but to maintain the peace, even if someone has the wrong thinking of you, even if someone has the wrong label of you, if they won't agree, if continuing to talk about it will make things very bad, I think some arguments get very bad. Very bad probably to places where it should not even go. So being right doesn't necessarily mean you should go far out with the conversation, even though it is leading the two or more of you to a very, very, very bad place. I hope this is making sense. I hope this is making sense because if you know you are right and let's say you can clearly see that you are right and let's say you are explaining to a person that should know that should know what they are saying is ridiculous irrational please listen Sometimes, and that person may see you in a very bad light, which is not true. 
may label you as something that is not true. So you want to be rational and with common sense explain to that person that they are wrong. Sometimes some people may not be rational. Sometimes you may have to be quiet. Be quiet, pray about it, praying that God will sort things out, that God will straighten the crooked paths, if that makes any sense to you. Sometimes, even if your words are very true and rational, sometimes your words may be misinterpreted, misunderstood, or twisted. There is no reason to fight a person over a disagreement. There is no reason to break dishes, curse people out, and do many other unnecessary things over a disagreement when you can close your big old mouth, right? So let's say you overreacted off of a conversation that started small. And let's say that you went to jail for it. Isn't that ridiculous? Isn't that unnecessary? What if you would have closed your mouth, possibly walked away or went to your mom's house or, you know, go somewhere else to decrease the negativity or whatever I am trying to think of? Even if you are right, it doesn't always mean you should voice your opinion, especially if you are dealing with a rude, prideful, misunderstanding person. I believe we all have problems. And I believe too that we have grown, we grew up in different environments. Maybe you were raised in a very abusive family. Maybe someone was touched on when they was a child. Maybe so many things. So our perception may not always be the same. So I can see the grass as being green, but another person can say the grass is brown. Another person can say, for an example, of course, the grass is blue. So, I hope this is making sense. Learn to close your mouth. Being right doesn't mean you have the right to speak. Yes, I know it may hurt. Yes, I know it may hurt to be labeled wrongly and get criticized in a very wrong way. I know it may hurt, but <laughs> what other choice do you have? Fight back and make things worse? No. If anything, leave that person alone. Or bring a person, a counselor or something, and explain to that person your side and the other person can explain their side. Some people 
may have been taught wrongly. Some people may have been hurt so much to where they do the wrong thing or wrong things in order to, I guess, protect their heart. So they hurt you in order to protect themselves, if that makes any sense. They may complain about getting hurt, but they may be hurting other people, which makes no sense there, I guess, but whatever. So you don't have the right to speak. Even if you are not wrong, even if you, <laughs> even if everything you explained prior is right, you don't have the right to continue speaking. Even if the other person is speaking nonsense and ignorance and immaturity and pridefulness and all that other mess, you don't have the right to continue speaking. Sometimes, I guess I can say, and I believe this to be true, sometimes the best answer is no answer. Or should I say the best solution is no answer. If I am saying that rightly. <laughs> So if you do this, learn to close your mouth, I believe, yes, problems may still go come your way, but your problems may decrease so much. Because like, <laughs> in all your time and speaking with, if you have ever done so, in all your time and speaking with a prideful person, when has it really worked out well? If you know someone is very weak in an area, especially when it comes down to being truthful and accepting blame, if you know a person is weak in that area, leave it alone. Sometimes you may have to I guess, stay away from certain people as much as possible. Or perhaps not approach certain people with certain topics. I am telling you. Let me stop here. God bless you.